Hey there, Trigger Bar Philosopher coming at you with another video today. Today I'm going to talk about Ratty Reloads. <laughs> I think that might be a fun little segment, and this is episode one of Ratty Reloads, and brought to you by your, myself, yours truly, the Trigger Bar Philosopher. What I'm going to talk to you today about is some mistakes that I made here recently. I have gotten into reloading in the last couple of years. I have a Dillon 750 um, uh, reloading press that I use for reloading my 9mm um, uh, shell casings. And those of you that are into reloading know that uh, one of the components that you have to buy is the primer. So here's your, your um, cartridge. Uh, that has the bullet, that has the case. Inside the case is the um, gunpowder. At the back of it is a primer, and in the primer is a explosive. So that when you hit in the, with the you hit the primer with a striker or a pin, it will cause an explosion, which causes the gunpowder to ignite and forces and pushes the uh, bullet. Of course, it's all contained within a, a steel. Um, uh, cylinder for the barrel, um, which which causes the pressure to build up and, and squirts this uh, projectile or bullet out at a high velocity. Essentially, uh, Trigger Bar's uh, uh, tutorial on one-on-one -on, -one on how a bullet works. So what I'm going to talk to you today about, though, as far as my ratty reloads go, is what primer to use. So these are 9 millimeter uh, rounds. So what primer should I use? And I have here today three different primers um, for you to choose from. Would you use a small pistol primer? Would you use a Magnum small rifle primer? Or a small rifle primer? Well, the intelligent person would use the small pistol primer because nine millimeter is a small pistol. We know that because the backside size um, of a spent shell is the size of a small a small pistol primer. This a nine millimeter is a pistol round. Um, this is what a uh, primer looks like. If you've ever cared to see that, let's see if I can get some type of zoom in on it. Not sure, yeah, it seems to be fairly well in focus, but just trying to give you the sense of it. All right, so uh, we, we have our small pistol primers, which would be the natural choice. I did, did some reading though, and learned that small rifle primers are very similar and actually fit in pistol rounds. You might think, gosh, that seems like a terrible idea. Wouldn't a rifle be a lot more powerful um, than a pistol round? And, and you probably would be right. There's definitely um, a few differences. Um, but for all practical purposes, we have over here the pistol primer and over here the small rifle primer. Um, they are the same. And apparently one of the main differences between these two is that the small rifle primer has just a slight more thickness in its backside. Back in here, it's just a little wall is just a little bit thickness. I think there's a little bit more explosive in it as well. So I read online though, you could interchange the two and I'm not gonna screw this up. I'm gonna put the pistol primer back here and the rifle primer back over here. Um, that if you still, if you have pistols, you can actually reload them with a small rifle primer and have uh, little to no impact. So I put that to the test. I don't have a, a video of me doing that, but I loaded up uh, with small rifle primers, uh, a bunch of rounds, and I loaded some small pistol rounds with same amount of gunpowder. Of course, I backed off the charge and go in with a max charge because I didn't want to blow myself up. Um, and I tested it out on a few different guns. And they worked perfectly. I haven't had a single issue on striker fired, hammer fired, pistol caliber carbines, P365, P320, um, shadow systems, shadow um, uh, staccatos. I've tried them out. They all work fine in a wide variety of guns. Uh, no issues using these two. So from a sort of uh, stockpiling ammunition or what are you going to do for the long term, um, I thought to myself, why would I ever buy small pistol primers again? Shouldn't I just buy small rifle primers? Then they can work in my pistol reloads and they can work in my 300 Blackout or 556 five, rounds that I'm reloading or 65 Grendel. Um, just one primer to sort of rule them all is maybe what I need. And so 
I thought that I would just stick with that. Well, so I was recently reloading a bunch and I had intended to reload them with my small rifle primers. But lo and behold, after about doing 200 rounds, I discovered I had emptied two of these boxes, which are Magnum small rifle primers. Magnum sounds really intense. Um, so I was really worried about, oh no, is the gunpowder limit really gonna cause these things to break my handguns, to explode them, or do something crazy like that? Um, and so I was really worried. So I took to the internet, I posted some things on Reddit, I read around, and near as I can tell by all of my research and reading is that once again, the small, the Magnum small rifle primers, the only difference between the small rifle primer and the Magnum small rifle primer is the wall thickness is yet again, just a little bit more. I'm not exactly sure on the physics behind that um, I, and whether or not that that wall thickness is causing a bigger explosion little bit more containment and pushing out the explosion in the correct way or the wall thickness pr protects um, a little bit higher explosives in the magnum round that they're loaded with so that again it ignites the powder in the right way not sure how it all works out um, but in the end what I read online was that this magnum small rifle primer going off in a pistol in a nine millimeter round I might have problems with light uh, primer strikes or they would show up as light primer strikes. It's really the pistol is striking it in its normal way, which is built for a small pistol primer, which works on the small rifle primer. But what I found, and I think I do have some video of this that I'll roll at the end, is that it doesn't work on all pistols. These, the wall thickness on these Magnum rounds, which is actually the, what, what this is loaded with, the back of this is a, is a primer, is actually a, a Magnum small rifle primer. And so I went out and I did some testing and hopefully I'll roll some footage of that. I have a B&T uh, uh, GHM9. Um, I have a, a P320 X5 Legion and I have a Staccato C2. And I shoot it with each of those. And I show in the PCC, every. Every round fired uh, normally. I show on the Staccato C2, a hammer fired pistol. Every round fired normally. I, I don't know, put two or three mags through on each of them. And then, but then on my a striker fired pistol that I tested, which was my P320, I worked for some and, and then just failed to work for others. And I looked at the back and it had a striker fire and hopefully I'll be able to show a picture of that. It actually had a striker indent um, meaning it, the striker had hit it, but the round had just not um, uh, gone off. And then what I don't have footage of is that I put those into my Staccato C2, and after the P320 failed to fire them, the Staccato C2 did, you know, just, just a little bit harder. Uh, primer strike was able to uh, fire those just fine. So if you ever find yourself in trouble, you can use these Magnum small rifle primers. I'm not sure why you would have those in a stockpile. I use them for loading up my Grendel loads. There are some loads that specifically ask for Magnum small rifle primers and recipes that I use. Um, and then also for, I uh, wanna hear what your thoughts are. Would you, uh, knowing what, you, what I know and others, would you make the same des decision as I have? Would you use a small rifle primer only if you do reloading, or would you go with a small pistol primers? Um, would love to hear your comments. Would love to hear if you're interested in more ratty reloads and mistakes that I made and things that I learned the way, or is this a topic that's of use to nobody? Happy to hear what you all say. Thanks again for tuning in. Okay, I'm just going to do a quick voiceover. So here I am shooting my Staccato C2 with the small Magnum small rifle rifle primers. You see here that all of them function just fine. There are no reliability issues and the gun function wells, uh, functions well. You'll notice on there that I do have the DSC comp, so I'll do a video on that on the future. Now I'm gonna be shooting the BNT um, GMH9, GHM9. Um, if I can get the mag well inserted properly, you'll see here that uh, all of these rounds function well. I did shoot quite a few more rounds. This is just what I did videos for. And what I did here, all of them worked fine. I have the Ames, Hollow Sun Ames, um, Red Dot on top of the GMH9, um, GHM9. Um, love that little uh, PCC, it's a fun thing. And then lastly, I have the SIG P320 
X5 Legion, which is striker fired pistol. And you'll see here after a couple of shots um, and a little bit of flex from me, um, right there, round didn't go off. I eject it, um, reload the mag again, and, and start shooting the rest of them. Um, and you'll notice after a few more rounds, I get the same uh, issue happening. Um, what's what I have here. So I ended up just holding it for a while. That's a more of a safe approach. And then I finish off by just showing you the light primer strikes on it. Please like, subscribe, and uh, follow for more content.